Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to prove that the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Recall that when you have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. If you take this limit and it exists, we say that the limit is equal to what's called the derivative of the function at x and that the function is differentiable. So what we're going to do in this proof is we're just going to take this limit and we're going to use the sine function for our f. And the answer should be cosine. And that will essentially prove that the derivative of sine is uh, cosine. Okay, so proof. So we'll start by taking that limit. So we'll take the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. So our function here is sine x. So our f of x in the proof is sine x. So f of x plus h, well all that means is you replace all of the x's with x plus h, so it's sine of x plus h. So we have sine of x plus h, that's our f of x plus h, minus and then sine of x, that's our f of x. And it's all being divided by h. So when you get to something like this, the only thing I can think of doing is to use uh, the identity for uh, sine of x plus h. Actually, there's another way to do this using L'Hopital's rule, but let's, let's go ahead and use the trig identity instead. So the identity for sine of x plus h is sine x cosine h plus cosine x sine h. It's one of those trig identities. Then we have minus sine x. It's all being divided by h. So now we have to figure out uh, a clever way to rewrite this limit. So let's think about it. Let's see. So here, these two terms here, I don't think we can combine these two, so that's not going to work. But here I see a sine x, and then here I see a sine x. So I think we can pull out a sine x there. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do that, we have sine x. Then we have cosine h minus 1. Then over here we have this other stuff, plus cosine x sine h. That's all divided by h. Then we can rewrite this further. This is the limit as h approaches 0. We can break it up now. See, this is going to be a familiar limit here. So this can be written as sine x times, and this is cosine h minus 1 over h, plus, plus, and then here we have cosine x times sine h over h. Yep, that looks perfect. Beautiful stuff. Let me explain that again because I did a lot of manipulation there. Basically, I broke it up. So it's this piece here plus this piece here. Right? You can do that. So it's all of this stuff over h. Boom, there it is. Plus all of this stuff over h. Boom, there it is. So cosine h minus 1 over h. I wrote that separately because that limit is 0. It's one of those special limits from calculus 1. And sine h over h, that's, that's a special limit from calc 1. That's equal to 1. So this is going to be equal to, taking the limit, we're going to get sine x times 0, because this limit here is 0, this goes to 0, plus cosine x times 1. That's because this limit here approaches 1, right? one of those special limits. You usually learn this in a Calc 1 course before you do uh, derivatives. So you just end up with cosine x. And that's exactly what we wanted, right? So we took the limit of the difference quotient, and we got cosine x. So cosine x is therefore the derivative of the sine function, and that completes the proof. I hope this has been helpful.